here's the weekly walkthrough. Just looking at the bees right now and all the marvelous thistle in the goat field. Over here, just going to go up and down some new beds. I don't know how well this is coming through, but we have beds and beds of beans here that are just doing delightful. Um, we've got green beans and purple beans and yellow beans and dragon's tongue beans and then mixed beans like crazy. Um, the tomatoes are up there and they're looking great. We're getting mulched down on them a little more every day just to keep those weeds down. Um, up here, now this is we got some uh, old fashioned purple top turnips planted with the beans. We've also got a whole bed of purple top uh, turnips um, scatter seeded as kind of an attractive crop for those flea beetles, which we're not seeing as bad damage from this year, which is great. You can see the kale is, here is almost ready to harvest. You have to weed the other side. However, I came out this morning to some wonderful lettuce. Hopefully you can see it. I don't want to see it, but our friendly neighborhood deer came through last night and ate the centers out of every head of lettuce that we had have planted here that would have been ready in the next couple weeks. So yeah, that happened. Um, the rain last week obviously has uh, stimulated the, uh, the grass and weed growth, but uh, not a problem. We've got radicchio and uh, cabbage over here. If you look close, you can see basil and dill there. And then further up, we've got uh, full-size bok choy and uh, um, Chinese cabbage. And then we've got radishes and arugula and beets further up there. It's all looking great. Still a few weeks out, though. Um, we did get in before the rain and during the rain last week a lot more uh, cucumbers and squash. They're just taking off out here. And then I'll show you our squash from several weeks ago. It is flowering, which means within a couple weeks we will start getting squash in. This is uh, some more cucumbers that are later, but here's our squash there. It just is great. Um, real quick, quick look in the uh, tunnel. Um, this here is, is a beet. We had to let them get a little bit taller before we start weeding, but that's our task this week. So, I don't know if I've mentioned about the peas. We do have peas planted this year, but turns out that the seeds are not the seeds that we ordered. Um, our uh, seed company, High Mowing, out in Vermont, has been very apologetic for it, but they found out after the fact that uh, most of them in the mix were not sweet peas, they were shelling peas or sh uh, other kinds of peas that were not what we had planted for. So we're still waiting to see how they turn out, um, but right now it doesn't look good. Um, here's the tunnel. I mean, just looks excellent here. Yeah, a little weeding in the walkways, but the tomatoes, all that green is tomatoes. We're going to start stringing those up soon. The, uh, oh yeah, that's right. The uh, seeds, seed pods here on the kale are just about ready. Um, I'm going to try to break this open with one hand. There we go. So you can see, hopefully, those seeds fall out of there. And then on this side, you can see where they're still in there. So, yeah, we're going to be harvesting all these. Wow. I would say most of these this weekend, early next week. We'll pull them out and start getting uh, later season crops in there, too. Um, and, uh, well, that's it for the field walk this week. Uh, see everybody soon.